So when I applied to Miami, I had no idea what the media and culture major actually was. Um, it's just kind of this vague term. I felt that it might have covered too much. Um, but I've learned the exact opposite. It exposes you to so many sides of media production, of analyzing media, and how to consume it, and how other people consume it. And it's very informative on, on a large scale, where I feel prepared now to go into any career in media and, and have an understanding that will give me a leg up in, in a future career. Getting into media culture, it kind of gave me a chance to go behind the scenes more, learn how they're produced, learn techniques. I've always loved photography always loved having a camera in my hands and that just kind of helped me improve upon those skills. Writing is super important in our society. Um, no matter the career, no matter what you're doing, being able to eloquently express yourself on the page is very important, especially the fact that we're so digital nowadays. Through video or through writing, it's important to be able to express yourself and communicate. The best part about Miami and its journalism department is it's not too big and it's not too small. We have the resources to do everything that we possibly want to do while not having to compete with other students to do those things and have your work published and aired and just feel accomplished while still being a student. Film studies is a humanistic study. There's something to be said about our culture and how it reflects our society. And to be able to talk about that and to be able to understand that on a deeper level because you're studying it, I think is very important in anything you do. The classes I had taken, I had this really cool opportunity to create a language to the stuff I had already done behind the camera. And so like, my world and my, like, my thinking capacity has evolved because of the way I've learned film and like, the languages that like, the camera movement, light, sound, and editing creates. Getting an MJF major in general is beneficial because of the skills you have to use and you have to build. Critical thinking, I think, is the most important skill. A lot of, I think, majors or focuses really encourages that, really asks you the tough questions, makes you learn to ask the tough questions, and also find the answers for yourself. The writing, the communication, the types of reading you do, the analysis, the critical thinking, like I said, is going to help you in any field and anything you do in the future. The department itself offers a lot of opportunity that's academic-based, career-focused, and honestly just fun. There's constantly lectures and screenings and opportunities that are fun to do just socially and actively as an individual. The atmosphere here at Miami is of small classes, with faculty who are involved. And students, I think, appreciate that and thrive on that. Some people consider media journalism and film to be something that involves just cameras and, and lights and, and editing suites, but it involves personal relationships. They just instantly made me feel at home, uh, made me feel like this was a place where I was going to get a lot of opportunities in journalism. Uh, but that uh, it was also a place where I would be welcomed and accepted and cared about as a human and not just as a journalist. So going to school at Miami here in Ohio, uh, it's a very unique experience, I think. Um, we all have this kind of tight-knit bond, I feel like, with each other, and it's a small-town feel, um, which you really can't get elsewhere in like a big city like Hollywood or New York. The, the community that's built by being you know, surrounded by, by almost nothing and then just having your own community here is, is a feeling that you, know, you can get almost nowhere else. Every day I learn something new about uh, the career that I want to get into and that wouldn't have been possible if I didn't go to such a great school. One of the cool things about Miami is that it's completely undergraduate focused. Instead of just reading about it or learning about how to write, you're actually doing it every day and that's what's going to build your resume and your portfolio to get a job in the future. At Miami, my first semester, I actually got a camera in my hand. Just being able to start learning hands-on and rather than just like sitting in a lecture hall, that was really important to me because my contributions matter. I'm producing stuff. I'm like seeing the results of my education. Miami has enabled me to get hands-on experience that I don't believe I could have had elsewhere like this because Miami is such a close community. I got research opportunities um, and then I just have friendships with my professors, which is really nice. It makes the classroom environment very comfortable. Um, it makes class dialogue really easy. They really care about their students, and so they'll be able to remember your name and what class they took with you. It's not like you're just a number going through the classroom. You're, you're an actual human being that they really care about. 
It's been amazing. We have a lot of passionate professors who genuinely care about whether you're doing good or not. And if you're struggling, they'll put an actual effort to make sure that you're uh, getting more comfortable with time. So I really appreciate that. And I've also made a lot of good friends who are just as passionate about strategic communication and just media in general as I am. And I think that's why alums have a tendency to be thrilled to meet students from Miami or recent graduates from Miami because they understand all the experiences. There's a commonality immediately. The 16 students who every January are students who are passionate about wanting to be in the media in some way or another. With the Inside Hollywood program, it gave us a chance to kind of break in and meet these people that otherwise would kind of be hard to get into contact with. They meet a number of Miami alums who are part of this program and who sponsor workshops and visits to movie sets and television sets and talent agencies and animation houses. And there's so much to be said about meeting people in person and in the areas that they work and knowing what it's really like and having that experience under your belt when you eventually go into the field yourself. All of the skills that I learned in the classroom here were just fine-tuned at the internship. I got to shadow people and work hands-on with what they were doing on an everyday basis. So instead of being virtually removed from it, I was in the action and actually got to participate in what was going on in the newsroom. And so these connections, they're there to help. They're there to make sure that we, we get something out of the experience. And they want to help us after graduation as well. I'd say you should definitely take the leap. I mean, it may sound scary at first, and I was scared too, but I'm so glad I did it. The Department of Media, Journalism, and Film is something that is really large and difficult to wrap your head around at first. But I do think that it's a place where, if you're interested in the art of communicating, whether that's through writing, whether that's through TV or radio or film, whatever it may be, it's a place where you can come and learn that art from people who really do know how to do it.